So this may sound like a fairly simple accessory drop for Tesla, but it's honestly a pretty big deal because if you're not aware, Tesla basically has had the largest charging network advantage in the United States. And I think that's the primary reason so many people will not compromise and not buy a non-Tesla. That's why they have such an incredibly high market share in the United States is because they've just simplified and streamlined that charging network so much. You just pull up, you plug in, the car makes it really easy. And that's why a lot of people buy Teslas is just because they really Really, really want that supercharging access. But of course, on the rise has been Electrify America, slowly ramping up as well, deploying more and more stations. And yes, they've had some reliability issues, but they seem to be compensating for those reliability issues by having a monthly membership option that a lot of people like because it only costs like $4 a month, basically, and you get a much lower kilowatt hour price. So many people out there actually want to charge at Electrify America more regularly because the electricity from those stations is usually cheap cheaper than superchargers. Again, it's all very dependent on where you're living, but Tesla just recently in the United States launched a CCS to Tesla connector adapter. It costs $250, which is a bit steep, but it's definitely a lot cheaper than what people were paying for this adapter who were importing it from overseas because this isn't necessarily a new thing in other countries. Tesla has had this accessory available for a while, but it was still not a thing in the US until just now. And also something to be aware of is it's not completely compatible compatible with every single Tesla on the road. I guess some older Model S's and X's aren't necessarily equipped to fit this updated adapter, but as long as you sign into your Tesla account and you look at the adapter itself, it will tell you if your Tesla is compatible with it or not. So that luckily makes it pretty easy. And then Tesla said in early 2023, there will be retrofits available, or maybe it's just a different adapter entirely for older Teslas in case you have a vehicle that's not compatible with this current adapter, but you'd still like to charge at CCS stations, but I still consider this a huge deal because it now means that Teslas have an even more insanely high lead on all non-Teslas in the EV charging space because they can now charge at any Electrify America station at pretty fast speeds, mind you, because this one still supports the full 250 kilowatts, which basically means if you're able to find a hyper-fast Electrify America charge station, you can charge there just as fast as you could at a V3 supercharger and probably get cheaper kilowatt hours pumped into your battery pack. And that just means you have even more options available than before. Some people are in places where superchargers may not be as accessible or as easy to stop at. And, you know, a lot of the time, what makes or breaks a road trip or travel time for a lot of EVs that are driving on great distances are where are the access points? Where are we able to stop? You know, you have to charge to a much higher state if you've got a longer way to go until you reach a supercharger. Whereas now, I think a lot of people are going to pick up this accessory because they know, well, if I want to stop at a supercharger, I I can, but if there's an Electrify America station that's at a more convenient stop on the trip, I can also just stop and charge there. It's almost unfair in many ways because it probably will mean many Tesla owners out there will sign up for the Electrify America membership to get those cheaper rates, and lots of Teslas now in the United States might actually start charging at Electrify America stations, and that will start to fill up the Electrify America network, but at this time, non-Teslas can't go to the superchargers, so in my view, that makes a buying a non-Tesla feel a lot less appealing because you know that, well, you can basically only charge at Electrify America and those are all your options, whereas all Tesla owners now are just going to have so much flexibility and freedom when traveling, where they want to charge, how they want to charge. And while yes, Tesla has openly stated they are working on opening up the supercharging network, we're pretty dang sure it's just going to be a feature for new superchargers. Not all of the current ones are just magically going to support CCS now. And a lot of people are wondering, you know, okay, they can sell this CCS to Tesla adapter, how come Tesla doesn't sell a Tesla to CCS adapter? That way you can take any non-Tesla to a supercharger to charge there. That seems like it would be a lot simpler than coming up with this patented magic dock accessory and building new superchargers with CCS connectors. Well, the reason they don't do that is because V2 and V3 superchargers are pretty much all optimized for the charge port to be on the rear driver's side brake light location, and all of the cables at the superchargers are optimized to only reach to that port. There's a lot of non-Teslas out there that have the charge port in different places, and because the cables aren't long enough or optimized for vehicles that have moved the charge port to the front or to the passenger side, that essentially means that if Tesla just let you charge any non-Tesla at any supercharger, you would most likely have to park in a very awkward way and probably have to take up two charging stalls because you have to use a cable from the charger next to you from your parking space. So that's not really an easy solution that doesn't actually solve that 
that much, it honestly creates more problems. It also doesn't prevent the fact that many superchargers are overwhelmed and constantly packed, especially in LA, as I saw firsthand. And if you started opening up those chargers, which are already frequently busy, to slower charging EVs like the Bolt or the Leaf, then suddenly those vehicles would increase the wait time for Tesla customers, which doesn't feel like a great situation to be in for Tesla either. So that's why I don't think Tesla is ever going to just straight up sell a Tesla to CCS adapter. But because Electrify America is all open to charging any EV, Tesla gets to take advantage of this by selling an adapter to any one of their customers in the US. So I'm not sure if they'll get a noticeable uptick in orders for this alone, but I do still think this gives Tesla another huge advantage if they didn't have enough already. So let's just hope Electrify America can get the reliability down and actually deploy stations that work and don't go down all the time. But what do you guys think of Tesla selling this adapter? Do you think $250 is a reasonable price? How many of you are picking one up? All that good stuff. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting this channel directly. Seriously, helps us out a ton, as does just watching these videos. So thanks again. Have an excellent rest of your day.